Hello and welcome. I'm Karan Singh. And let me assure you, this is no ordinary broadcast because I am here to cover the extraordinary feat of a four-legged soldiers. I am 90 kilometers from the national capital at RVC Center Meerut, the hub of Army's canine unit. उसके अंदर बहुत हाई एनर्जी डॉग था, उसका फिटनेस बहुत अच्छा था, और हाई एग्रेशन डॉग भी था उसका, और डिसिप्लिन उसका इतना अच्छा डिसिप्लिन से सीखा था कि वो उस लेबल तक जा पाया, जहाँ पे वो काम करना था उस लेबल तक उसको पहुँचा। डॉग का जैसे 50 डॉग होंगे तो 50 तरह दिमाग के डॉग होते Sol Dog Zoom, who was trained here at Dog Training Faculty of RVC Center and College, he passed his training in December 2021 and went on posting to 28 Army Dog Unit in January 2022, where he has been in forefront of many operations and has brought laurel to the core. Finally, on the fateful day, he uh, immortalized himself, saving the life of precious troops and uh, wrote his name in the fame of RVC. I'll take you across one of the scenarios where a canine here at this facility will display its prowess.
eight different breeds of dogs. That is the Belgian Malinois, German Shepherd, and Labrador Retrievers. When a pup attains five weeks of five months of age, uh, we undergo a test known as Puppy Aptitude Test. So uh, this test is basically done to assess the individual potential of a pup. Based on the scoring, we uh, allot different specialist specialization for each pup. These four-legged creatures are not your regular pets. They are part of Indian Army's, one of the most fiercest forces, canine. They are deployed in counter-intelligency operations, search and rescue, and part of bomb disposable squads. In fact, this dog training faculty traces its origins to 1943 when messenger dog training was commenced initially at Babugad. But subsequently, in 1959, uh, Army War Dog School was uh, started at this place, very place where 24 dogs were inducted but to train uh, tracker dogs. We are the uh, pioneers in uh, dog training uh, since we have commenced our training in 1959 and all the security agencies which have their uh, the training academies have undergone training here only. The valor of these brave hearts will be eternally engraved in the nation's memory. Their ultimate sacrifice would never be forgotten.